Welcome back. Well, after thrashing Australia 4-1, the Indian cricket team takes on South Africa in the first T20I match in Durban today. South Africa host India in a multi-format series with both teams focused on the preparations for the ICC Cricket World Cup 2024. Shubman Gill and Ravindra Jadeja return to the T20 setup after missing the home series against Australia under Sudhi Kumar Yadav's leadership. Here's an exclusive interview with South African bowler Tabrez Shamsi. Take a look. Joining us is South African cricketer Tabrez Shamsi, who's currently in the Abu Dhabi T10 League playing for the Northern Warriors. Uh, Tabrez, firstly, thank you so much for being here on the Times Network and taking out the time to speak with us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I just want to start by asking you, uh, tell us a little about your experience of playing in the T10 League across the shortest uh, format. So tell us a little. Yeah, T10 cricket is obviously very action, action-packed, fast-paced. Um, you know, as bowlers, as batters, you don't really have much time to think. Um, you know, it's all-out action, so you have to be prepared. Um, and you know, small like an over or two can literally define um, the result of the game. I'm talking about the T10 format also being spectator-friendly because it's so quick. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, it, um, we're playing three games a. Uh, three games a day and it still doesn't take that long. So, you know, if there's a favorite team that somebody has, they can be in and out within, you know, an hour and a half. So, yeah, definitely um, for people that actually, you know, that are new to the game, it's also a great way to get them involved in the game as well. And, uh, Tabrit, you know, it is going to be a very important time for you as well uh, because we're also looking forward to a very action-packed India versus South Africa uh, series, uh, you are in the T20, uh, T20 and the ODI team. So, how are you looking forward uh, to that series? Yeah, it's always a, a nice challenge playing against India. It's always exciting, you know. Um, no matter where in the world India plays, um, they always get great support. So, I'm um, really looking forward to it. We're going to be playing in some uh, packed stadiums, and you know, it's uh, it's nice to be able to compete against a, a strong Indian team. And you know, being at the T10. Uh, it gives nice practice in a way, you know, instead of um, having a little bit of a break, I enjoy playing cricket nonstop because I feel it helps my bowling. So, yeah, I'm really excited for, for the series coming up. And any friendly piece of advice for the Indian team, uh, apart from what the South Africa bounce has to offer, any other advice for the Indian team? <laughs> no, I'm sure they have uh, great people in their backroom staff to give them all the advice that they need. Uh, we'll just be ready to welcome them and, and, you know, make them feel comfortable off the field. But on the field, you know, it's going to be business as usual. And uh, the last couple of questions, I want to ask you about uh, Surya Kumar Yadav. He's been sensational in the shortest format for India. He's recently had a series win uh, versus Australia as well. Your observations of him, if any, and, uh, you know, are there going to be any special plans for him in the T20 format? Um, yeah, Surya has obviously been a great performer, not just um, in this last series, but for, for an extended period of time for India. Um, so, look, there's no special plans that we make for any individual player. Um, it's always, um, you know, we give respect to each and every uh, player in the opposition team and we make plans accordingly. So, yeah, nothing special for Surya himself, but we will be doing our prep work and our, our work behind the scenes for every single player that's in the Indian squad.